A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had curled clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement towards them. In the portico called Salmon's Portico, where Peter saw this, he addressed the people, you children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us? As if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servants, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and the righteous one and asked that you murdered be released to you. The author of life put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witness. And by faith in his name, this man who you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant your times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed to you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time of the universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from old. For Mo Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, the prophets who spoke from Samuel and for those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring, all of the families of earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name is all the earth. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O God, our Lord, how glorious is your name over the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him? or the son of man that you should be cared for him. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the sea. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Good morning, everyone. Thursday, April 8th, the week is gradually sliding by. The gospel is from Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst, said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands, look at my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. 
And he said to them, Thus it is written that Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are witnesses of these things, my friends, and so are you and I. We are witnesses of them in the scripture we hear, in the Eucharist we receive, and in the way that truly extraordinary Christians live out their lives. We are witnesses to these things in the goodness that people share with one another, in the love we have in our hearts, in the forgiveness that Jesus talks about in the gospel. All of this has been coming down to us from, as he said there, from Moses, from the prophets, from the Psalms, from all of Scripture in terms of what the Savior would do, what he would be like, how the Lord Jesus would, would embrace people and place the love that only God can give in their hearts, which is what you and I possess throughout our entire lives. But you see, Jesus is also letting us know that you have to give it away that all of these wonderful gifts that you have, they're not yours to keep in a selfish fashion. He didn't keep them that way. He was selfless, selfless to the point of giving up his very life. You and I are not asked to be martyrs, but we are asked to kind of take a few baby steps towards sainthood every day. We might not ever be kind of put into that category by the church, but we can take baby steps towards sainthood maybe even some grown-up adult steps by sharing our love, by sharing our charity, by sharing our desire to be forgiving, not judging or holding grudges. There are so many ways that we can emphasize the Christ unto others, and that's what we are asked to do every day. My friends, I hope that we are able to do it every single day. It's a tough road because we're not up to it every day, but it's in the trying that we often succeed. We may take a step or two backwards, but to always move forward in one's life on the path of Christ, or as I've been saying, the way, which is Christ, is the way in which we are raised up in the service of the Lord. Take care, my friends. Have a great Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, 
May he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.